Shalom Chavrin, my name is Stephen Bernoun. You're watching Israeli News Live. And today, friends, wanted to have a little bit of a heart-to-heart -heart talk with you, those of you that may be listening today, uh, about the situation with the television broadcast we've been doing on, let's say, broadcasting DirecTV Channel 367. As uh, many of you know, we have aired there for close to a year now on this broadcast, a very expensive broadcast. And we have had the opportunity to really bring to a completely different market uh, information, uh, especially even that of exposing Rome. Uh, been very careful about the way we do it, but we have done what many people thought we would never be able to do. You've seen the broadcast here on our YouTube channel as well, so you know we've been pretty much uh, exposing a lot of things that most people probably would never get away with. Been very surprised we've been managed to be on that long to begin with. But at the same time, when we first talked about starting this broadcast, we reached out to you, our listeners here on YouTube, to get your feedback about going on. Most people that were concerned about it were mainly concerned more so about, I wouldn't be able to speak truth on our channel there on, uh, on DirecTV. But we proved that to be wrong. We actually were very candid about the things that are happening, the things that are happening, prophecy in the Middle East, and uh, just who's involved in that. We've gotten away with quite a bit there. And at the time also, when we first began the broadcast, we had reached out to business owners that would benefit in this to actually advertise to offset the cost of the broadcast. Uh, in the beginning, the broadcasts were very expensive, and we actually had several companies reach out to us to want to advertise, but nobody ever actually came all the way through. So we have actually had to bear that burden the entire time. And so once again, we have come to a place where we have decided, uh, or at least we're in that process of deciding, should we continue the broadcast? Uh, to me, it doesn't matter. It's not a matter of prestige. For us, what it was more so was trying to reach a market that is not normally on YouTube. An older generation of listeners that are still watching via television because they're not as much into the internet as we are today. And so, as a result of this, we wanted to come to you guys personally and speak to you about this to see what your thoughts are. Or if you happen to be a business owner where a national um, broadcast would benefit your business by advertising there. Are you seriously interested in trying to advertise to keep that mission that we're doing there uh, alive and continue it on? Uh, we've also talked to the network about moving to a very inexpensive spot. Uh, the most inexpensive would be, of course, like two or three o'clock in the morning. You can do it for about $300 a week, which that is reasonable. We could live with that with no problem because it's more so just trying to reach uh, the elderly group. But then again, they wouldn't be up, I don't think, to listen to it in the first place. There is an early morning program uh, that you can also do, which probably be more realistic for those uh, elderly that would get up early in the morning to start with. Uh, but there again, we want to put that out to you guys to see what your thoughts are. We're going to leave that in the comments to see if you would support this and if even if it's not someone that's advertising, is it some, is something you want to do to support to keep Israeli News Live on national television? It goes into 20 million homes. Now, it's definitely not 20 million people watching. I want to make that clear as well. And secondly, another issue that's come up that I wanted to present to you is that we will soon return to Europe in mid-February. And from Europe, we will be doing quite an extensive uh, work uh, going to the parliament there in Europe, trying to expose the dangers of glyphosate. We have uh, Emmanuel Mac uh, Fallon, the French representative there, that is willing to speak with us on this issue. And then we're going on into Israel. One thing we'll be doing in Israel is reaching out to our Jewish brothers and sisters the gospel of Jesus Christ, trying to share the gospel of Yeshua about his saving grace and what that really means for us, especially in such a late hour that we're living in. And we're also wanting to create a documentary using the many insights that God has given me about where we have missed Yeshua as a Jewish nation, missed Yeshua all the way through the Tanakh. 
And you guys that have listened for years, you've watched a lot of the older videos and even more newer ones now, where God continues to unfold these incredible revelations about Yeshua being the Messiah. And this is one important, uh, important mission that I feel that we must do. My wife also working on a documentary as well that she's kind of kept under wraps about what uh, this documentary really is about. But she's trying to really look into the things that are going on in Israel, how Israel is being accused of being an apartheid state, which she doesn't believe Israel is, but trying to show both sides of the story of what's going on. There's a lot that we're trying to do and very costly endeavor as it is to do even those things. And this is one reason why we're looking at the broadcast on Direct TV. Is it a wise decision to continue on? Because we need your help in the missions, especially the missions to Israel. But of course, if you're on Direct TV, you can share those things as well across the nation. Otherwise, YouTube would continue to be our platform as we already do. And as so many of you are so kind to help keep us on the air here on YouTube and making sure that we can continue this mission, getting the message out to the world. We were just looking at alternative ways to be able to broadcast that reaches other people around the world in different areas. And so we've come to you to ask you just about that right there. So let us know in the comments what you think. And of course, if you believe in this type of broadcasting, definitely support what we're doing. We really appreciate it. We do have a major mission ahead coming up in Israel there that we do need your help with as well. And your giving will make that possible. Today, in fact, after I get off of here, I'll be editing the second part later today that I did with Steve Quayle. Very interesting insights. And I'm going to be doing a special broadcast here myself on 1 John chapter 4 about the Spirit of Christ and that Antichrist spirit that denies him. I'm going to be some, sharing some interesting insights on that, something that perhaps most have never thought about when it comes to that particular passage. So God bless you. Thank you for taking time to listen to this little short broadcast. And again, let us know your thoughts. Sure.